Hello, welcome back to Catherine's Granny Squares. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these little baskets. I'm back on to making baskets and bags at the moment and today I'm going to do a basket made with cotton yarn and I'm going to introduce some little beads. You can also make these baskets in other yarns such as chunky yarn and double knit yarn but today we're going to focus on the cotton yarn. Now first of all when you're doing beading you'll need to get those beads onto the yarn. You can buy special beading needles to do this but basically you just need a needle that is fine with a very small eye to get your beads onto the yarn. Once you've got your beads onto the yarn obviously you have to remove the needle and then you can start using your crochet hook. So the yarn I am using for this project is a paint box it's a cotton aran and it recommends using a 4.5 crochet hook. That's the one I'm going to stick to today. You also need your beads, a darning needle, some scissors and indeed some stitch markers will be useful. So let's get started. First of all we need to get the yarn and make it into a circle. We can do this by either doing a magic ring or you can do four chains and join with a slip stitch. If you wish to do a magic ring and you're not sure about a magic ring, I have got some instructions in a video on this channel. Just set my magic ring up there. You will keep meeting your beads, just push them down. Once you've got your circle, whichever way you're going to do it, chain up three and into that circle put nine trebles. because we're aiming for 10. Do you find with cotton I have to work quite slowly. It's got no give but it does give a nice effect at the end of your project and if you're going to be doing beading you do need to really think about using cotton or a very fine yarn if not. So I'm going to continue putting in nine trebles into the middle 
of this circle and then we will go on to the next part. Once you've got your nine into the circle, because I'm using the magic ring, I'm just going to close that. And you need to join on the top of the three chain that you made at the beginning. With a slip stitch. So straight on to round two by doing three chains and into that same space do a treble we're going to double the stitches in this round so in every stitch around you've worked into that one so start in the next one and do two trebles That's just me pushing the beads back. You'll just hear them clang a little bit on the table. So all the way around, putting two trebles into each stitch and then you'll have a total of 20. We've now got 20 stitches and again we join on the top of the three chain that we made at the beginning with a slip stitch and now we're going to do our next round. Start again with three chains and a treble into that same space. little freddy bit like I told you about just be careful when you mark with cotton to get all the strands so that's two trebles in the next treble along on the round we're going to do one treble into that stitch and then we're going back and we're going to do two in the next stitch So we're doing a gradual increase and this one will be aiming for 30 stitches at the end of this round. So continue putting two in one treble, one in the next treble. So two, one all the way round. So now you've got your 30 stitches, join again on the top of the 3 chain with a slip stitch and your base is complete. Now we're going to do one chain and we're going to work into the back loop only, so that's the stitch furthest away the loop, sorry, furthest away and we're going to put double crochets all the way round so that's in the back loop only in the loop furthest away 
so you've got your little V you've got the one nearest you which is front loop and then the one furthest away is the back loop so we're going to go all the way around with double crochets all the way around and that will give a nice little ridge so all the way around with back loop only double crochets to create this little ridge when you've gone all the way around join with a slip stitch not into the chain one but into the first double crochet in the back loop only stitch that you made but join through both loops with a slip stitch now we're going to go up and make a bit of a height with a treble round so start by doing three chains into the next stitch along do a treble feels a bit tight that one so I'm just going to repeat it it's no giving cotton as I said earlier so just pull that out and did it again and then go all the way round with one round of trebles into every stitch all the way around this is going to be a shallow basket but you can make these baskets any size you wish on this channel I also do two videos on making one of my favorite projects which is a bag and that will show you how to increase the base if you want to make a bigger basket cotton lasts for a long time I've made these little baskets and I've still got them years and years later and I just put them in the washing machine it's very hard wearing so I'm going to continue and I'm going to make a round of trebles now I've come to the end of that round of trebles I'm not going to join to the three chain I'm going to join into the first treble with a slip stitch now we're going to make a round of double crochets so do one chain and then we're going to go into each stitch around with a double crochet into both loops there not into the back loop only into both loops because this will be your foundation round to get those beads on that have been patiently waiting there on the yarn So we're just going to go all the way round with a round of regular double crochet as opposed to going into the back loop like we did earlier. Sorry, I looked at the um, pattern there and I glanced away. Not one of these crochets or indeed knitters I'm not very good at knitting that can watch the television and do something like this I have to keep my eyes peeled on what I'm doing so all the way round with double crochet 
we've been all the way round so now we're going to join not into the chain but into that first double crochet with a slip stitch now the bead round do a chain turn the work turn the work that's important and then we're going to go along and in this project I'm going to do six double crochets first just have to work out where you'd like your beads for this so three four five six and I'm going to bring up my bead so I'm just going to put that down for a minute there they are just bring up I've got four in this strand so I'm just going to bring it up to the work and bring it to to the stitch that you've just made as best as you can and then just work the next stitch I'm going to space these six double crochets apart and then I'm going to bring up the bead. You just work out the pattern you want really for your project and now I've lost count so I think um, did it there one I want one more you don't have to be accurate accurate it's just so you get a little pattern going and then I should bring up another bead off my strand bring it up as close as you can to the stitch you've just made and then continue into the next stitch want to stop and show you before I put the next bead in so I will continue and put my remaining two beads in and then I will meet up with you again I have all my beads in so now I need to join into the first double crochet I made with a slip stitch do a chain and then turn the work again so we're back onto the side with the beads so you've done your chain and turned and now we just need to do a regular row of double crochet all the way round When you come to the bead, you'll just feel yourself working above that. So we'll feel just a little bit different that stitch. Just work above it and continue working round with one round of double crochet all the way round working on top of those beads not happy with that one let's there we are just get on top of the beads just go round all the way So you go on top of all the beads when you've been round on top of all the beads with one round of double crochet 
join into the first double crochet you made with a slip stitch. Now all we have to do to complete this little basket is go all the way round on top of those double crochets you've just made and put a slip stitch into every one and that will give a nice edge to finish your basket. So I went right off next, I needed to get some more yarn. So carefully go all the way round with a slip stitch on top of every double crochet and that will be the end of your basket. It is a little bit fiddly when you're going over the bead round but just persevere and you can get there. So slip stitch all the way round when you've got all the way round and made that nice edge you just need to cut your yarn just make sure you've got all the way round with your nice edge of slip stitch and then just tie the yarn off by pulling through and then of course you will do your ends just pop them in there for the moment but of course you will be doing them and there is your little basket and your beads have popped through because you work on the other side you'll be doing that end as I say just tie, tie that you weave that end in and you've got a nice little basket there so just to remind you there's its double and again I'll just bring in these other baskets that you can make and hopefully you'll have a go and you will enjoy making the variation with the cotton yarn and the beads. If you haven't already subscribed to Catherine's Granny Squares you could think about that. It's free and you could get notifications if you press the notification button. So happy little basket making and join in beads if you want to do that and hopefully if you make some of these you may pop a little comment so I can see them and I hopefully see you again on another video. I'm totally into making baskets and bags at the moment so it may be another bag or basket video. Happy basket making. Bye for now.